Do we have a complete Twilight Masquerade binder? Let's check it out, guys. And stick around to the end of the video for a special little treat. So I ran the GameStop today and you don't see these on the shelves very much anymore. My old friend Paldean Fates. Let's see if we can't pull a uh, Charizard out of there. And of course, we've got some uh, blister packs here of Twilight Masquerade. And we'll check in with the binder after we open these packs and uh, show you our progress so far. I don't really know how many packs we've opened. I'd kind of have to estimate, but I have to think about it. <laughs> so let's open these up and see if we can't pull a Charizard or a Mew out of these packs right here. Day and Fates, what a fun set. One of my favorites in the Scarlet and Violet era. Lots of hits and not as much heartbreak as we find with some of these newer sets. So let's see if we can't pull a baby shiny or a special illustration rare. There's still a couple that we need. We still need Nimona and Arvin out of the set. Let's go. I want something good, guys. We got six packs here. Ooh. Ooh, we might have a baby shiny or something. I don't know. Squill it. Hodingo and Zatu. So there is a baby shiny. I don't think we need that one, but I'll have to check that binder too. It's really hard to keep track of the cards that you need for your binders. Try to keep little post-it notes up there, but the Paldean Fates one that disappeared. It must have fell off the wall and slid down or something. I'll have to find that. We got Mousehold, Palafin, and Executor. So these last three packs are all the same artwork. Like I had no intention of uh, picking up these packs, but I saw them there and I thought, you know what? It's been a long time since I see one of those. If I don't pick one up, they had like three of them. Like if I don't pick one up, they're going to be gone. Professor, the Denny, and Charizard EX. Let's get his big brother, that shiny, awesome Charizard. One of my favorite cards. All right, we got a Mastiff, Gimme Ghoul, Lechonk, got Iono. Clive, Krillia, we got the Rare Candy, Maractus, and a Cyclozar. All right, guys, our last pack about Day and Fates before we get into Twilight Masquerade. All right, can we get the last pack of magic here and pull a big hit? Magmar, Nimona, Kilowattroll, Clive, Tremeleon, we got the Rever Room, Heatrotom, and Iron Treads EX. So not bad. We did get four hits out of those six packs. Nothing too uh, noteworthy here. The Charizard's cool, the baby shiny, and this uh, Palafin card. All right, so let's open up these Twilight Masquerades and then we'll check out the binder progress. All right, guys, we got four packs with the ultimate goal is at least pulling one card we need to put in the binder would be awesome. I think the... Actually, the ultimate goal would be pulling that Greninja card. Which is like $180 right now, I think. I'll put the actual today's price up right there. Oh, we got gold. Swirlix. Applin. Tetsuguri. Diplin. Jamming Tower. Brute Bonnet. Please be Buddy Buddy Poffin. Yeah, the gold Buddy Buddy Poffin card, guys the most valuable gold card that is in the whole set actually maybe in the whole era the gold cards aren't very valuable but that one definitely is holding its value i'll put that price up here of what it's going for on today's market nice what pack was that okay Now I'm all confused. All right, let's get back to this. Let's get back to it. We just got the fire energy. We got Phantom and Slugma. <clears throat> Swirlix and Rubber Room. We got the Ogre's Mask. Got all for their masks. Sunflora. Emolga, Flababy, and Teal Mask. Ogre Pawn himself. 
making an appearance in the Teal Mask Ogre Pond pack. It's weird because all the packs they had hanging up on the wall, this is the only one that wasn't green. Like, literally, the whole wall was covered with, uh, like, the green, <laughs> the green packs. Because typically what I do is I'd, I'd try to get, like, one of each. Art if I was buying, like, four or five packs, oh my God, I'd try to get one of each artwork to kind of, uh, I don't know. Maybe that helps. Maybe it don't. I don't know. We got Farfetch, Pheasantipity, and Cornerstone Mask Ogre Pond. We may need that card still. All right, our last pack before our binder check. All right, come on. Let's get that Greninja or Eevee luck going right here. Carmine would be awesome. Code card. All right, slow roll this pack. See if we can't pull one of those really special cards. Sunkern, Abra, Skarmori, Rillaboom, Handheld Fan, or Peko. We got Venipede, Conkledur, and Pheasantipity. I know we need Conkledur. Uh, do we need any of these? Farfetched, Emoga, Flababy? No, I don't believe so. All right, let's get the binder out and see what we got going on. Okay, so the hard part about doing this is trying to get, well, there's no glare shining down, but then I get a shadow. So I'll try to get my hands out of the way. We go through the first page, and what I do is I put the non hollow and then I put the reverse on top of that. So we have all the non hollows so those are all done. So we're just looking for a few reverses. We'll go through all the greens. We have 100% of the greens, except for old Diplin here, number 18. All right, let me get into the reds here. We got all the reds except for Chiyu. We still need the reverse hollow for Chiyu. The blue, I think we need a few of the blues. Yeah, we need Melotic, we need Cramorant, and Palafin. The rest are all complete. And then we need, I think the Teal Mask, uh, half our EX Ogre Pond. Now, I might have that here somewhere. I don't know. Uh, we got all the yellows. All the yellows are done. We get into the purples. We have all the purples except for... No, we got all the purples. All the purples are done. Uh, we still need Sandshrew here in the fighting type. Um, we just got Conkledur and we got this Ogre Pond right here out of the packs we just opened. So we still need Probobass and a Girder. We'll be complete with that. We have all the teal. We need a Skarmori in the gray in the Rever Room. We have all the dragon type. And we get to the white ones. We still need, well, I think, Amber Palm would be the last one that we need. Then we have all the trainers, supporters, and we're still missing one of the Ace Spec cards, which is weird because we pulled multiple multiples of all the other ones. So that one is very hard for us to pull. Then we get into the full arts. Mostly, we got Pinsir here, Sunflora, what a cool card. And of course, this is where we have a lot of empty spaces here with Fion, pulled like six Fions. Cramorant, Enamorous, this cool Chansey card, pulled a few of those, a few Appalins. Uh, Tatsuguri, one of my favorite cards. Sinistia, Probo Pass. All right, then we get into the better ones. Iron Thorns and Luxray. We got some uh, of these uh, uh, Terraform ones. Blissey, Ursa Luna, EX, Blood Moon Edition, Caretaker, Lana's Aid, Full Art Trainers. We got Lucian Perrin. Then we get to the SIRs. We only pulled Ogre Pond and two Kirins. All these other ones, nope. Then, But three, uh, three gold cards out of... And we got three out of the six right here. So we still need uh, half of them, right? So then we get into the uh, SIRs and they start here with uh, Sinistra. So, you know, we need that one. And two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's 11 of them. We only got two. Of course, this is the Greninja, the one that we want. Carmine would be uh, the next most expensive. And then we get, get into Perrin. I think the rest just kind of trickle down after that. But you know what? We're trying to pull all of them, so we need all of them. I really like Lama's Aid. I kind of like the cartooniness of it, kind of like that Bowl Mew card from uh, Paldean Fates. So yeah, overall, this set is uh, 
it is fun to open. It is a little heartbreaking. I mean, you're not going to get all these hits like we kind of were expecting from the Scarlet and Violet era. Based off the first uh, few sets that come out, we were just filling the binders up like crazy. So these these cards are going to be really, really tough to pull. You're looking at uh, 1 in 900 packs to pull any specific one. So that's probably about 1 in 80 packs, 90 packs that you, you would expect to pull an SIR and maybe uh, a little bit more for the gold. But typically we end up getting all the golds way before we get the SIRs. I don't know. But that's just kind of where we go with our binder here. So guys, thanks for watching. And if you guys have been watching all of our videos, I appreciate that so much. Every comment, every like, every share really helps our channel grow. And uh, the bigger we grow, we're just gonna keep making videos, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. But wait, guys, I promised you a special treat. I got another one of these uh, booster bundles of Paldea and Fates. I'm going to open up and play some music for you. Uh, appreciate you guys watching. It means the world to us.